it's a great pleasure, of course, for us to have uh, John Moore from University of Edinburgh. The importance of the, the work by John is underscored by the fact that his papers uh, are essential building blocks for researchers in, uh, that work in very different fields, such as uh, uh, economic theorists or researchers in finance and macroeconomists that study the interactions between real and financial variables and their aggregate implications. I think it's not too controversial to claim that the funders, the, the deep pockets, take a relatively short horizon about the project. So although the project may be quite a long-lived thing, the funders only look at the near term. So uh, the questions are, why do financiers, either people who are buying debt or people who are buying equity, why are their horizons relatively short, even though the project may be long? Anyway, how do these short funding horizons interact with growth and business cycles? We argue the point, our springboard, our starting point is that the human capital of key workers is essential to not only constructing a project, starting a project, but also maintaining it. And that human capital is inalienable. So people have difficulty promising to be well behaved ex post. Ex ante, at the time of raising money, I, I th I'm going to be the engineer slash entrepreneur for the rest of the talk, and perhaps you could be the deep pocket funders. So I may promise you at the time that we're making the investment, so today is, let's say, Friday, we're making the project starting today, and you're lending me to pay for the inputs. Um, I may say to you on Friday, look, I'm going to be a, a very good boy on Saturday and Sunday and Monday. Uh, I'll do what I promise to do. Now, you can't take that promise at face value. So my human capital is something which you can't purchase. It's inalienable. And that goes back to a paper I wrote with Hart in 1994.